हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी अनरेवलिंग माइक्रोबियल कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड होप यू ऑल आर इन द बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ऑफ बियर Beer has been one of the most popular alcoholic beverage since ancient civilizations. It is believed that the first beer in the world was brewed by the ancient Chinese around the year 7000 BCE, which was popularly known as Kui. However, in the West, the process now recognized as beer brewing. Began in Mesopotamia at the Golden Tap settlement, now in modern-day Iran, between 3500 to 3100 BCE. Beer can be defined as an alcoholic beverage prepared through fermented grains, usually barley. The top fermenting yeast. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is the most widely used among all the yeasts for the fermentation for the production of beer. Strains should be chosen that are low temperature tolerant varieties. In this manner, the low temperature favors the growth of the yeast and not bacteria which may enter as contaminants on the starting materials. The yeast used in beer making process ferments the different types of sugars found in the wort pre fermented beer to produce ethanol this species has been in use for thousands of years however nowadays many mutant varieties of yeasts are used which give a much better production the first step in beer production is malting in the initial process barley is malted through a controlled germination and the grains are washed and soaked for 2 to 3 days to stimulate the development of the embryo the water is then drained off and the seeds are germinated the embryo is allowed to grow until the plumule attains a length equal to approximately 3/4 of the kernel length and is then dried to halve the growth during the short period of germination the embryo produces a number of digestive enzymes which begin to hydrolyze the food reserves in the seed the second step in beer production is mashing the dried malt is crushed and mixed with hot water most of the enzymatic conversion of starch to maltose by amylase takes place during mashing it takes about 2 hours the aqueous extract is separated from insoluble materials and husks and is then boiled with hops which impart a characteristic flavor to the beer hops are the flowers or cones of a plant called humulus lupulus hops help to keep beer fresher longer and help the beer retain its head of foam that is a key component of a beer's aroma and flavor and of course add happy aroma flavor and bitterness 
द थर्ड स्टेप इन बियर प्रोडक्शन इज नोन एज फर्मेंटेशन इन द थर्ड स्टेप द एक्वस एक्सट्रैक्ट इज कूल्ड एंड प्लेस्ड इन फर्मेंटेशन वैट्स अ सिलेक्टेड स्ट्रेन ऑफ ईस्ट इज एडेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेक्रोमाइसिस सिरविसी ड्यूरिंग अ शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ अबाउट फाइव टू फोर्टीन डेज द शुगर इज कन्वर्टेड टू एल्कोहल द ईस्ट सेटल टू द बॉटम ऑफ द वैट इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट बबल्स ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड राइज टू द टॉप ऑफ द वैट एंड कैरी विद दम द ईस्ट सेल्स एंड डार्क फ्लोकलेंट मटीरियल्स फ्रॉम द लिक्विड इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एल्स द रिजल्टेंट फोमी स्कम मस्ट बी पीरियोडिकली रिमूव नाउ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन द बियर आर ऑफ टू काइंड एल्स एंड लागर एल्स आर फर्मेंटेड विद टॉप फर्मेंटिंग ईस्ट एट वार्म टेम्परेचर्स ऑफ अबाउट सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी डिग्री फेर एंड हाइट एंड लागर्स आर फर्मेंटेड विद बॉटम फर्मेंटिंग ईस्ट एट कोल्ड टेम्परेचर्स ऑफ अबाउट थर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी डिग्री फेर एंड हाइट बिकॉज ऑफ देयर वार्म फर्मेंटेशन एल्स कैन जनरली फर्मेंट एंड एज इन अ रिलेटिवली शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ऑफ अबाउट थ्री टू फाइव वीक्स The last step in beer production is finishing. When the fermentation period is over, the newly formed beer is allowed to rest for a few days. The beer is later on carbonated to carbon dioxide content of about 45 to 52 percent. It is now cooled, filtered, and packed in bottles for sale.